This is the eclipse of the moon on April 15th, 2000 and 14. It's about 3.20 a.m. in southwest Florida. And it's a bit cloudy, or partly cloudy, this morning. So the clouds will go in and out, but the moon is starting to turn reddish as the earth comes in between the moon and the sun. And in about a half an hour or so, the complete moon should be in total eclipse. And you can, even in a few minutes, you can see how the moon has moved from the center of the screen to the lower right And this is the lunar eclipse on April 14th, 2014. It's about 3.25 a.m. in southwest Florida. And the total solar eclipse has taken place. And you can see the moon is very reddish. The sky conditions here in La Belle, Florida are partly cloudy, so there are clouds passing by. And the middle of the total eclipse will go on for probably another 20 minutes or so. And the Earth is now between the Moon and the Sun. So in a few hours the Sun will be coming up over the eastern horizon while the moon sets over the western horizon. And you can see on the screen the moon is even a few minutes has passed from the top left corner of the screen to about the center of the screen and it will continue traveling down and towards the right side of the screen in a few minutes. And you may hear a little purring as a neighbor's cat comes by here.
Yeah, the moon is still moving across the screen. You can notice the lower half of the moon is much brighter than the top portion. It's October, not October, it's April 15th, 2014. About 3.35 a.m. in Southwest Florida. And I'll reset the camera to bring the moon more towards the center. We're still observing the lunar eclipse on April 15, 2014. It's a partly cloudy sky. So there'll be some clouds passing through. But you can see the moon is definitely the blood red, so-called blood moon, as the earth is casting a shadow on the moon earth being between the sun and the moon so you're literally seeing sunrise and sunset around the edges of the moon in that the sun is casting a shadow on the center part of the moon but around the edges would be the sunsets and sunrises around the circumference of the earth and the light is scattering to look like a red moon and the lower portion of the moon is much brighter than the top of the moon and the moon is of course traveling downward across the screen and slightly to the right sound of a semi-truck going down the highway a mile or so away. It's a very quiet Monday morning. The wind is still. And partly cloudy sky. And there are a few duck sounds in the distance, probably a mile away. I can still hear that truck several miles away. And the moon temperature before the eclipse, surface temperature was about 270 degrees Fahrenheit, very hot. And then when the Earth casts a shadow within a matter of a short time, the temp temperature would drop on the surface to about 260 or 70 degrees minus. 
So it drops about 500 degrees in a very short time because there's no atmosphere to displace the temperature or to hold the temperature I should say. So the temperature on the surface of the earth as the earth causes a shadow drops about 500 degrees Fahrenheit in a very short time. And as the moon drops out of the picture here on the camera, I'll reset the camera to bring it more towards the top of the picture. And we're still watching the full eclipse of the moon. And I wanted to show a little star right below the moon at the bottom of the screen there. During the eclipse, you'll see that star but as the shadow goes off of the moon, you won't be able to see that anymore because the brightness of the moon will cover it up. And the moon brightness is many tens of thousands less with the shadow caused by the Earth compared to when the moon is not in eclipse and that's why you can see you could see that star below it because the moon is tens of thousands of times dimmer than it would be without the shadow being cast by the earth and of course the Earth is immediately between the moon and the sun. The sun will be coming up in a few hours over the eastern horizon while the moon sets on the western. And there's a cloud starting to cover the moon. So it is now going away on the screen but it of course is still there and you can just barely see that moon as the cloud passes over it there's just a very slight wind up there several thousand feet above us and so the clouds are moving very slowly from the east to the west. And I would say from looking up there, it's a very thin cloud. And it should pass over the area of the moon. so and it's about 3:40 a.m. approximately on Monday April 15th 2014 as we watch the full eclipse of the moon which has pretty much been taking place in the last half hour or so and shortly the Earth will depart from casting a complete shadow. And you can see a little bit of the clouds passing through there. You can see a little bit of motion on that lower limb of the moon which is brighter now than the top portion and you could probably hear a sound of a semi truck going down the highway a mile or so away and maybe a dog in in the very far distant probably a couple miles away. Other than that, it's a pretty quiet morning here on Monday morning on April 15th.
2014, watching the full eclipse of the moon. There will be four total eclipses of the moon visible in the North American continent in the next year or so, which is quite an unusual event to have four in a row of total eclipses of the moon. And I'll reset the camera to bring the moon up to the top of the screen again. And once again, there's that star at the lower part of the screen, which of course is really a sun. And dropping down is our moon in total eclipse at about 3.45 a.m., some approximately on April 15th, 2014. And this moon is starting to come out of the total eclipse. You know, it'll probably last for another 15 minutes or so. As the lower portion of the moon is the brightest and the top is a little darker. And the sun has lost about 500 degrees Celsius during the time of the total eclipse as the shadow caused by the Earth dropped the temperature about 500 degrees very quickly. because, of course, there's no atmosphere on the moon to hold the normal temperature, daylight temperature of about 280 degrees Fahrenheit on the side that always is seen facing the Earth. It's a partly cloudy sky tonight with a few thin clouds passing over. Very still night, no wind noticeable here on the ground. Quiet night. You can hear some crickets. And very occasionally a passing truck on the highway. And because the moon is eclipsed, you can see many more stars than you would normally see during a full moon, which of course this is, it's a time of a full moon which normally would be about oh, 50,000 to 100,000 times brighter than it is at this moment. Southwest Florida in La Belle, Florida, which is normally has very dark skies, so you can even see the Milky Way overhead normally on a clear night. It's not quite ideally clear this night. See the moon top portion is 
gradually getting a little darker. I don't have a watch out here, but I'm guessing it's about 3.50 a.m. on April 15th, 2014. It's a bit humid out here tonight as well in southwest Florida. It's probably around 68 to 70 degrees. sounds, just some a few crickets, some frogs or some sort of animals out in the distance I can hear. There was a uh, neighbor's cat passing by. In fact, there it is sitting next to the camera. Ninja, Ninja, the black and white cat. I can only see the white paws at the moment because it's pretty dark out here. Set the camera to bring the moon up to the top of the screen again on April 15th. A little before 4 a.m. in the year 2014, one of four full moons that will, or I should say, full eclipses that will take place in North America in a row, four total eclipses in a row, which is quite rare. We're watching the full eclipse of the moon, one of four in a row that will take place over the next year or so. It's April 15th, 2014, a little before 4 a.m. on a Monday morning in southwest Florida from the town of La Belle, Florida in Hendry County where normally we have very dark skies. It's a small town. I'm a few miles, about four or five miles away from the center of the town. So it generally has pretty dark skies. And this would be the time of a full moon, but the moon has been in shadow for about the last 45 minutes or so. As the Earth passes between the moon and the sun, so the moon is many tens of thousands of times dimmer than it normally would be for a full full moon. And you can see the lower portion of the moon is brighter than the top portion. In fact, it's the lower, lower left is still illuminated. The most in the upper right is becoming more dim as the eclipse moves on. And you can still see some, not on the screen, but I can still see at least one star below the moon that's, that's very bright that normally could not be seen if the uh, moon were not in eclipse. 
taking it all around. See the normal amount of thousands of stars that can be seen on a non moonlit night. And the sound in the background is another truck passing by on the highway a couple miles away. Somewhere around 4 a.m. on Monday morning, April 15th, 2014, from southwest Florida, small town of LaBelle, Florida, in Hendry County. The location is about 30 miles east of Fort, Miles, Fort Myers, between the second largest freshwater lake, Lake Okeechobee, and the Gulf of Mexico. And the only light out here are some street lights. So the skies are generally pretty dark, which makes for good uh, stargazing. And it is Partly cloudy tonight, so there are a little bit of thin clouds overhead that are passing, passing by. So it's not exactly the best of star watching nights. And as the moon sinks towards the part, the lower part of the camera screen, I'll reset the camera to bring it more up to the top at around 4 a.m. on April. 15th, 2014, Monday morning. It's about 4.10 a.m. on Monday morning, April 15th, 2014. Watching the total eclipse of the moon as the Earth is situated in between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow. You can note the lower left portion of the moon is still brightly lit compared to the upper right hand corner as the eclipse passes away. It's uh, about another 15 minutes or so and it will be more visible. As the uh, dark portions go away and the moon becomes more normally lit, it's about 50,000 or so times dimmer than it normally would be on a full moon. So you can still see stars shining brightly all around the sky when you normally would not be able to see them during the time of a full moon. In another 45 minutes, approximately, the eclipse will be basically over. Back to the normal brightness of the moon. If you're on the surface of the moon, you would notice the temperature dropped about 800 degrees or 500 degrees, 500, 800 degrees, depending on how much of the moon was still in shadow, but it dropped very rapidly from its normal 280 degree temperature down to a minus several hundred degree temperature just in a short time as the Earth's shadow covered the, covered the moon. And of course this part we're seeing of the moon we always see because the moon face, it doesn't uh, rotate so it's always facing that side of the moon is always facing the Earth. So the other side, the dark side of the moon, is several hundred degrees below zero all the time. While the part facing the sun is several hundred degrees above zero, or very much uh, a little hotter than you'd want to uh, 
normally be in. And the sun will rise on the eastern horizon in uh, oh, about two and a half hours or so, while the sun sets on the western horizon in the same time. So the sunrise will be about the same time as the moon setting. And that's why the moon is eclipsed, because the Earth is directly between the sun and the moon. And this is one of the four times in a row this will happen in the next year or so. A fairly rare occurrence to see four total eclipses of the moon from North America. And you can clearly see the bottom lower portion of the moon is starting to show more white-ish compared to the blood red color of the rest of the moon. This is the so-called blood moon when it eclipses. It's a pretty quiet night. I'm still hearing a few trucks passing down the highway a mile or so away. No wind to speak of. And it's a partly cloudy sky, so it's not exactly as clear as it could be, but still shows a nice view of the blood moon on April 15th, 2014, at about 4.30 or so in the morning. And we'll reset the camera to bring the moon up to the top of the screen. It's about 4.40 or so on Monday morning, April 15th, 2014. Watching the completion of the full eclipse of the moon this morning from southwest Florida in the small town of LaBelle, Florida in Hendry County. We're about halfway between Fort Myers and Lake Okeechobee. So we have very dark skies this morning. The clouds seem to be disappearing. The partly cloudy clouds that were here for the last few hours I can now see the Milky Way galaxy a bit to the east overhead pretty clearly on dark night tonight. No wind and just a few sounds of trucks in the distance on the highway and Ninja the cat crawling around looking for who knows what in the dark here. And watching the final moments of the full eclipse of the moon. This will be one of four full eclipses of the moon visible in North America. A fairly rare event to have four in a row over the next year or so. And you can see on the left side of the moon now, it's starting to turn back to its normal white as the sun reflects, sunlight reflects off of the moon. And then the reddish portion is still where the Earth is casting a shadow on the moon because the Earth is exactly halfway, or not not halfway distance, but the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon, casting a shadow on that upper portion that's still reddish. And as the Earth moves out of the way between the Sun and the Moon, the Moon will start appearing gradually back to its white appearance as the full sunlight shines on the moon. And it's coming up on around 5 o'clock a.m. The sun rises here in southwest Florida 
in about an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters, and the sun will set on the horizon likewise in an hour and a half, hour and three quarters. As it does on any time of the full moon, the sun rises and the sun set at the same time. Or I should say the sun rises and the moon sets at the same time. As well as the sun rises in the or the moon rises in the evening and the sun sets in the evening about the same time during the time of full moon. And you can see more and more of the white showing up on the left side of the moon. You can see some of the dark splotches of the surface of the moon. And we'll reset the picture to bring the moon up towards the top as the full moon eclipse comes to an end in a very few minutes from La Belle, Florida in southwest Florida coming up around 5 o'clock a.m. on April 14th, 2014. We're watching the full eclipse of the moon on April 15, 2014. It's around 5 o'clock a.m. in southwest Florida in the small town of LaBelle, Florida in Hendry County, about 30 miles east of Fort Myers. We have very dark skies here in LaBelle. And the skies are pretty dark tonight because of the full eclipse of the, of the full moon which is now coming out of the eclipse. As you can see on the left-hand side, the sun is shining brightly on the left portion of the moon as the sun is beginning to rise in the east here. The sun rises uh, about in an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes or so from now. And the sun will, and the moon will set at the same time as the earth is now in between the sun and the moon. And it's a quiet night except for Ninja the cat crawling around the uh, wooden deck here. I can hear it chasing lizards or something. And the skies are pretty clear now. A little bit of a wispy clouds I can see, but I can see the Milky Way galaxy above my head, which you can typically see on uh, night times here in the countryside. Only a few street lights in this particular neighborhood. Other than that, it's pretty dark skies. And we're about four or five miles from the center of the town of LaBelle. So not much artificial light to create chaos with the starlight. And as the sun starts to illuminate more of the moon, you know, we'll see a little less star shine. There's a star that's uh, just below the moon, which was pretty bright during the full eclipse, and now it's starting to dim quite a bit. I can still see it, but it is becoming dimmer as the brightness of the moon comes through. During the eclipse, full eclipse, the moon was about 100,000 times dimmer than the light of the full moon. And now we have about a quarter of the moon being illuminated by the sun. A little after 5 a.m. on April 15, 2014. And we'll readjust the camera and come back with a little more of the moon illuminated at the conclusion of the, near the conclusion of the full eclipse, of which this is the first one of four in a row that will happen over North America in the next year or so. 
and watching the eclipse of the moon ending and there's a bit of cloud cover now near the moon Let's see if I can adjust the exposure here you can still see the left side is uh, become illuminated by the sun while the right side is in the shadow of the earth I'm going to see if I can adjust the exposure of the left side so you can just barely see the surface of the moon and the right side is uh, still in shadow from the earth but there is a little bit of a cloud covering at the moment it's a little after 5 a.m. on April 15th 2014 from Henry County LaBelle Florida in southwest Florida we're about 25 30 miles east of Fort Myers under normally dark skies here out in the country Watching the conclusion of the eclipse, full eclipse of the moon, one of four that will take place in a row here in North America. And watching the concluding minutes of the full eclipse of the moon this morning about a little after 5 a.m from Southwest Florida on April 15, 2014. And the blood moon has gone away, the reddish color of the full eclipse has left us and now we're starting to see the sun illuminating the left portion of the moon. And in a little while it'll be a completely illuminated moon because this is a uh, full moon as the sun rises at the same time as the moon sets in the evening the moon rises at the same time as the sun sets so we're seeing about half the moon illuminated you can see some of the craters and valleys on the illuminated portion of the moon at the moment and thank you very much for watching the presentation this morning of the full eclipse of the moon one of four full eclipses that will take place in the next year or so visible from north america and i'm don brown from labelle florida henry county florida in southwest section of Florida, about 30 miles east of Fort Myers, Florida. I'm the publisher of the Southwest Florida Online News website. And have a good evening and a good morning from LaBelle, Florida. The full eclipse of the moon, April 15th, 2014.